How are you? I'm searching for my missing friend. He's from New Jersey, from New Jersey, New York area. David Gerber and Isaac Woodruff have been handing out flyers of a missing man, hoping someone in New Orleans has seen him. And Gerber and Woodruff are not doing this alone. A whole group of friends and friends of friends have set up sort of a command post in a conference room at the Marriott on Canal Street. They've been poring over maps of the city and keeping a timeline of the last known sighting of this man, 33-year-old Michael Gelfand of Jackson, New Jersey. He told his family he'd be in New Orleans for one night only, but he never went home. The search team says Gelfin checked out of the Magnolia Hotel on Gravier Street January 6th and texted his wife that he'd be flying home that evening. That's the last time his family heard from him. But the search team has picked up clues that Gelfin might have spent the last week enjoying himself in New Orleans. They believe he's been spotted shopping in various stores and spending time in local bars, which leads to another question. What if Michael doesn't want to be found? Michael wants to be found. Michael needs to be found, and Michael wants to be part of that community. He may right now have a struggle that we don't understand, that he may not understand, but he wants to be a part of that community still. At one point, tips were coming in like crazy, and Michael's friends thought they might have found him. Instead, they found a local man named Sebastian, who looks like he could be Michael's twin. Michael Gelfand is six foot two and weighs about 200 pounds. There's a $10,000 reward for information that leads to wherever his friends can find him. Susan Rosgen, WGNO News. And the searchers say they've checked hospitals, the morgue, and they're getting help from police. They say along with his wife, Gelfand has four kids waiting for him to come home to New Jersey.